Isn't it maddening when you call a company and not one person there can help you? And nobody knows their ass from their elbow. Nobody knows who is there who can do something. Or nobody is there so they tell you that can actually help you. I don't stand for bullshit as a lot of people probably know. But when I have to call a place, and if I can't get satisfaction with the person I'm talking to, I immediately ask for someone else, and oftentimes I'm told, there is nobody else. And I'll say, that's bullshit, because you have a supervisor, or a manager, or someone that you report to. Oh, well, they're not in right now. Okay, I don't care. Get them on the phone. You know, and I'll just get really angry with them until something gets done, and oftentimes it does. Or I'll ask to speak to the supervisor, and they'll say, well, they're just going to tell you the same thing I am. At which point I say, well, I'll let them make that determination. And then, when, of course, when I talk to them, suddenly here's somebody who can fucking do something. Somebody who maybe doesn't have their uh, head up their ass so far. Someone who maybe has some authorization. Something. And something will get done. Occasionally. But sometimes there are people that can't help themselves for some reason. Very, very strange phenomenon. Here's a senior, okay, that uh, got a heating system put in, I think back in 07, they said, and it went out. And she has a service contract from Sears who put it in, and she's been without heat since Thanksgiving. Now, I'm recording this in the early part of January 2018, so Thanksgiving, of course, was at the end of November in 2017. I have no idea how and why and what but the lady is 82 and she's been without heat since then an elderly hop hop woman has been without heat for weeks and she's blaming the company she hired to service her heating system right sides virginia huey talk to her it's extremely frustrating 83 year old ilsa homer of hop hop is fuming because she's been living without heat since thanksgiving day that's when homer says her boiler broke down and we're freezing to death. Homer purchased the boiler from Sears in 2007 and paid more than $300 for repair protection. She says no one from Sears has come to fix or replace the boiler, even though it's under warranty and the repair protection contract doesn't expire until next year. I told them so many times, I just cannot take it anymore. It is too cold. The people in the house are shivering. The water is freezing. Everything is cold. These text messages on Homer's cell phone show dozens of repair appointments and cancellations made by Sears over the past few weeks. Meantime, Homer's house feels like an igloo. The thermometer in her kitchen reads 32 degrees. I'm just really disgusted with how Sears has handled this. They're taking advantage of an elderly lady. To me. Okay. Now, I don't know if you saw that kinky Lolita bitch over there, but it said that she is this old lady's granddaughter. Um, can't she get on the fucking phone for her poor grandmother? You'd think? Matters were several pipes became frozen and burst, flooding five rooms in the house. The house? And this is where people can't help themselves. The heat is not working in the house. It gets bitterly cold outside. The potential for pipes freezing, or pipes to freeze, is there. Turn the water off to the fucking house. These people can't help themselves, and of course, they're still living there. But you can, as much of an inconvenience as it is, run down to the basement or wherever it is and shut that off and turn it back on every time somebody's got to take a shit or a shower or whatever it is and then you leave the lowest sink open and open the highest sink and let gravity do the work will it solve everything no can it still freeze and burst in places yes it's possible but at least you're lessening the chance and this way, it's not under pressure, and it's not going to freeze and burst, and then flood the house, and then you lose everything anyway. And it's freezing in there, so now the carpet is icy. 
Does this make any sense? The granddaughter is there. She can't call for the grandmother. Now, of course, Sears can't get their shit together, but they never could. That's why they've been going out of business for the last, what have we been hearing now? 15 years they've been going out of business now, where Sears is going to go out. They can't make their fucking mind up as far as what to do to service this old lady's boiler. You think they're going to figure out how to go out of business? <laughs> but why can't this fucking useless granddaughter who has two kids of her own, thank you, who lives and mooches off the grandmother. They're all living there under grandma's roof. Nobody can fucking do a damn thing for this poor old lady. This is the only place that she fucking has. Because I'm certainly not paying her no 15 fucking dollars an hour to work at goddamn McDonald's so she can get her high-rise apartment, high-rent apartment, not happening. Because she's not going to do that anyway. Oh my god, I have a basement apartment and rent is too much. And here in New York it is. I understand that. But even so, this is your last... Th this is it. This is all you have. You're never going to make yourself better because otherwise you would have fucking done so by now. And you can't even help your grandmother out to help yourself and your own kids out. Thank you. It's basically destroyed now. Palmer was forced to throw out thousands of dollars worth of furniture, clothes, and cherished family heirlooms damaged by flood water. I cannot take it any longer. And I don't know how many more pipes are breaking. So this living room has pipes. These pipes can break. The room upstairs can break. Palmer has had her share of heartbreak. Her 36-year-old son, Leroy Homer, was the co-pilot of United Airlines Flight 93, which was hijacked as part of the 9-11 terror attacks and crashed into a field near Shanksville, Pennsylvania, killing all 44 people on board. Now Homer says her heart aches, watching her granddaughter and two daughters who live with her suffer in a freezing house. It is unbearable. It is unbearable. Really. I've been crying. Not for myself, but for the children. News 12 made several calls to Sears, but so far we have not heard back. I am going to sue Sears if we don't get any results. In Hopog, Virginia Huey, News 12, Long Island. So I sure feel bad for the old lady, but her fucking granddaughter can't do anything either? And of course, a lot of people are going to say, well, why the fuck can't Sears get this shit together? I already discussed that. Sears ain't going to fix it. If they haven't fixed it by now, they certainly don't know what's wrong. And yes, they're under a contract and they're legally supposed to replace the entire system if they can't fix it. Yes, but when you get LaQuisha on the phone, she doesn't care that at least Homer or whatever the hell her name is, the grandmother lady, A, has an accent, so she ain't going to want to talk to her. And she's certainly not going to help her. Well, the best I could do is send a technician out. That'll be three weeks from now, and maybe he can fix it. Yeah, it's fucking happening. Get the damn granddaughter on the phone to fucking do something for anybody, including herself. And I bet this problem will be resolved. There is somebody at Sears who can make this happen. They're just not trying. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.